Hello, welcome to Really Random Rants, the show where today we are testing, we are doing a review of Gamer's Heaven. Uh, it's basically like a community based uh, gaming lounge where people can come in and uh, PC, uh, console, and a tabletop game. We, we got our hands in all the different pies. Uh, Rowdy will be showing us around and we'll give us a quick tour of the place. Okay, yeah, follow me. Let's go. All right, so over here, this is a snack bar. We've got a different variety of everything. Multicultural drinks from regular soda to the Asian drinks, the ramen -A, big hit. We've got different kinds of bowls and noodles. We got the standard mac and cheese. We got hockey galore. We got some odds and ends. We got some Funko Pops. We got some. Uh, someone printed out some 3D printer uh, Pokemon. Oh, that's so cool. So basically, this is like the decoration corner that we get from people. And does this come from uh, part people from the community? Yeah, everything here has been donated by people in the community. That's We're so much cool. Like a Planet Fitness for gamers. Okay, that's great. Uh, this is has all been donated. This is more rare games that we have in our collection. Oh, uh, okay. Everything here is playable. Oh my word! Look at the Game Boy colors. Then. Oh, that's we got we got from back when I was a kid. We got them Game Gears. Slick. It had a battery life of about an hour and a half. Over here are all the games. We've got every system ranging from the Atari up into the new stuff like the Xbox One, the PS4, Wii U. We got four of the Switches, which are available for rent. Now, if you follow me back here, this. Side and where all the uh, computers are. They're all in our ski boxes. Play everything you want on the best graphics, and if it doesn't, then it's not a real game. The end. We have set up for people who want to do stuff like Dungeons and Dragons and be private because it starts to get loud and uh, a lot of noise on that side. So sometimes players come back here just to have like. A private D&D session. That's wonderful. This TV and that computer is used to stream because every Sunday we have a Super Smash Brothers 4 tournament. So we usually get between 15 to 25 people coming out to do that. It's Always a cash bonus for top three. Okay. <laughs> On the other side, I'll show you where all the tabletop stuff is. We've got a whole theater section. It's boys. You're gonna have like a retro retro one too. <laughs> <laughs> so over here, we have people playing various games. We've got the tabletop section is dedicated to everything tabletop, whether it's board games, Magic the Gathering, building models, playing Warhammer, various other trading card games. Tonight we have our first Final Fantasy draft. Got some uh, people out, get some traction. Back here is the theater section. These are all communal games that people can play over there. Or if you just want to hang out, chill. We've got this usually going on. We've got uh, movie marathons. Right now, since we're having the Final Fantasy tournament, we're playing Advent Children. More stuff donated by people. The community has just embraced us so much. They gave us a piece of themselves. We've got manga, we've got all the books, we've got DVDs, Blu-rays. So we always have something going on. Okay. We can't do different things, have different events for like, some people are into some things while other people aren't. Yeah. And the best thing about this place is... You try your best to fulfill all the ones. Yeah, like I said, we got our hands in all the pies. That's really we have, impressive. We have people, uh, like even if people come in and they don't know anyone, within a few minutes someone will reach out and say, hey, you want to play this? Or, they're very, it's a very friendly atmosphere. And then I, I had heard something about a Comic-Con sort of setting. Uh, could you tell me a bit more about that? Uh, that's going to be the thing in New Jersey. Okay. And that is going to be grand scale. We plan on having tournaments. We plan on having like a mini convention, uh, cosplay contests, tournaments for Magic, uh, Final Fantasy. Hopefully, eventually, esports will come to us. Oh, that'd be a great work together. That'd be a great team up, work together. Yes. 
That's a new thing. The work together. Yeah. Uh, Patent pending. Yeah, actually, right, right now, right now, this is a work together. But it is. Really rare. <laughs> Trademarked. <laughs> yeah, work together. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to test out a couple of the areas, uh, okay. maybe even all of them, and we're just going to see, uh, and then we're going to give a, a an out of ten star rating on this place, and and so if you're in the Philly area. Uh, first of all, just from being in here for like five minutes, I can tell if you're in the Philly area and you and you enjoy anything nerdy of any sorts, you should come here at least once and test it and try it out for yourself. Because this place, there's just a feeling of uh, community and being together. What I think about GH is if, uh, for people who like to play video games but don't like to get out much, it's a good place to connect with other people in a gaming community without having to like just talk online or something like that. You know, people here are very friendly. Although, like, I can sometimes tell, like, do some people not being, um... Halo 5? Used to... Oh, uh, this is Xbox One. Um, social interaction, they don't really know how to, um... Sorry, uh, the only... No one's stuff to say is right or not, but that's just, like, a minor thing. It's not a big deal. And... It's like, like Andrew and the staff are extremely nice. They um, take care of like every, all your needs here. They don't really need to like think it's um, a bother to ask them to help with something. As if like if the Wi-Fi is not working on a computer or um, you can't find anything for a setup, you don't feel like obligated like oh I'm rude for asking. They are always welcome and happy to help. Um, it feels like a great community where anybody can be welcomed. Um, the staff are always getting ready to help somebody or like if you really need something they don't have an issue with trying to help you figure out like you know what to do or like to the best of their ability like with PC gaming how they help you guys out. Uh, everyone here respects each other and we're practically like one big family. That's great. This is like my first time here but it's very welcoming. It's been um, really fun so far. Well, that's great. Uh, we have long time people and newcomers. Newcomers first time here. I mean, obviously because they're newcomers, they they instantly feel welcome. This place is welcoming for little kids, adults, um, older people. Um, anybody is able to come here and uh, game. But I mean, also on top of that, some people don't come here to game. Some people just come here to make friends and just hang out and yeah. eat and get on free Wi-Fi <laughs> and just relax. It's not just consoles or not just PCs. Um, there's also card games and stuff as well um, that you can enjoy. Or basically, you can bring anything that you want. Like this is my laptop. I'm bringing this here to do PC gaming, so that way I don't have to use the desktops. Be a really good place to introduce someone who isn't used to gaming. I think it's very well organized. They do a good job. It's very well stocked. It's in a good location, and they've got plenty of room. They've very active on a Saturday night. Uh, how long have you been here? This is actually my first time. Oh, great. Uh, so, I see you playing a uh, form of chess. Yeah. Uh, this, this seems to be a gaming place. Why are they, what's the reasoning behind not having, what behind having just a board game? Well, where else would you go to take, you know, present it to people? It's not very well known. And I figured if I could bring it here, people might be interested in it. So tell me a bit about um, uh, your opinion on the place. On the place in general, it's a really great community. They have almost everything here, like anything you want to do. I, um, before I worked here, I was never an actual like, member who paid for something. I played board games. And then like, just making more friends, I'm in like, each group of like, the community and really enjoy it. I've been here for two years, and I just started working four days ago. That's a good way. Very comfortable. I want to make people as comfortable as possible, so they, they, this could be like a second home for them. Okay. Um, uh, is there any specifically targeted audience? Um, obviously people who play video games, but we have all sorts of people. Like, I have a few friends who come here just to hang out and do homework, so students. We have age groups everywhere from like 12 to upper 50. So what's your final opinion on the store? Uh, my final opinion is that it's well made, it's well done, very um, community driven, and very tightly knit. Uh, their service and telling you, how, showing you how to do stuff is wonderful. Scale of 1 to 10? Uh, an 8. Uh, now, so yeah, 8 out of 10. Uh, 
So I hope this gave you a good idea of, how, of whether or not you want to be here. Hashtag dev did it first and have a really, really random day.